In this video, we'll discuss the top 10 things you need to know about upgrading Dell EMC Unity software. Let's get started! Upgrading the Unity software from the Unis for User interface is quite easy. On the Settings window under Software and Licenses, select Software Upgrades. The upgrade may already be downloaded and ready to apply. But before you begin, these 10 tips will ensure that you're well prepared and know what to expect during the software upgrade. Knowing these tips will help you save time and give you a smooth upgrade experience. The number one most important thing to know before upgrading is that performing a system health check can help you identify underlying issues with the storage system which could cause the upgrade to fail. You should run multiple system health checks before the upgrade, one a couple weeks before your upgrade, and another right before upgrading to identify and resolve any underlying issues ahead of time. Number two. Any previously installed hotfixes are automatically removed. Check the release notes to ensure that the issue addressed by the hotfix is included as a fixed issue in the current upgrade image. If your issue is not listed, install the hotfix again after the software upgrade. Number three, your configuration settings won't be affected by the upgrade. The upgrade does not disturb your existing configuration settings, which includes the IP addresses you configured for the system. So you don't need to keep a record of or save your configuration settings, though it's never a bad idea to have a data collection or configuration captures available before the upgrade either. Number four, how long the upgrade takes. The total estimated time for an upgrade to complete is around one hour and 15 minutes. This time can change based on factors that are specific to your environment, such as IO activity. Software upgrades sometimes also include system or drive firmware upgrades, which may take a bit longer to complete after the main upgrade is finished. Number five, know when to schedule the upgrade. The upgrade is non-disruptive, but there will only be one storage processor handling the I.O. Performance will be reduced during the upgrade, so you should schedule the upgrade for a time where there is reduced I.O. activity. Number six, Decide ahead of time whether you want the storage processors to reboot automatically during the upgrade. The default option during a software upgrade is to automatically reboot both storage processors, one at a time, as soon as the software upgrade image is staged and the system is prepared for upgrade. Automatically rebooting the storage processors reduces the duration of the maintenance window by approximately 10-20%, to 20%, which makes it easier to plan for a time of reduced activity during the upgrade. If you like tighter control over when the reboots happen, you can deselect this option so that the upgrade can be started and staged, but neither storage processor will reboot until you're ready. Number seven, verify that the software upgrade is valid and not corrupted. Sometimes software upgrade files may get corrupted during the download. Use the SHA-256 checksum to verify the software upgrade file. On the support website, each software upgrade file also includes a checksum value. Whether you're on a Linux-based or Windows-based system, confirm that the checksum value on the support website and the checksum value of the software upgrade files match. Matching checksum values indicate that the upgrade file is intact and not corrupt. All of these tips will help you be better prepared for an upgrade. The next few tips are things you'll want to know while the upgrade's in progress. Number eight, during the upgrade, you won't be able to make configuration changes to the system using Unisphere or the CLI. Number nine, Unisphere may be temporarily disconnected during the upgrade. Access will automatically be reestablished after failing over to the peer storage processor. And finally, number 10, don't power cycle the storage processors during the upgrade. For more information and help with other aspects of your Unity system, visit the Unity documentation page at dell.com slash unitydocs.